guys, and um, welcome to Wednesday again. So first, before I start this video, I guess I just wanted to apologize for the quality of this video. It's not, I'm not filming on my regular camera, I'm filming on my laptop because I'm trying to just upload this in one take without having to edit it really and upload it so that way I can leave because I have to go to work, which um, is why this video isn't um, as good quality as my normal videos, but next week uh, will be a little bit less, I think, hectic um, with work because of maybe the holidays or something. I don't know. But um, next week's video, I will um, be back filming with my usual setup and camera and stuff. But this week is, you know, ranting week and things like that. So um, some stuff that's been pissing me off lately. Well, the biggest thing lately has been this um, court thing. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but I've said it on my main channel, how I have to go to court um, for... I guess technically hanging out with the wrong crowd and whatever, but, you know, I had to get my um, fingerprints taken downtown on Friday, and so it was, like, really stupid, and they were really strict, and, um, I don't know, I had to get my fingerprints, so I have court on Monday, but, um, it was funny because the lady who was, um, doing the actual fingerprints, she was very rude, and when I got there... Um, she said, okay, well, hang tight, and, um, I have to go smoke a cigarette, because I just helped, I don't know, six other people do their fingerprints or something, so I'm gonna need you to just sit down and wait for me, and she took, like, a half hour to do that cigarette, so I said to my mom, she was, um, she came with me, because after we went downtown, because they were having a little light-up night, um, to get ready for the holidays and things, um, but when my, when she left, I, I looked at my mom, and I said, okay, so tomorrow at work, when I, um, when I'm standing there at the register, I'm just going to look at somebody and say, you know what, I just need a bit of a break. I'm just going to have to take a, you know, half-hour break. I've already helped about 20 people, so can you just hang tight? It was just very rude to me. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I think I got there a bit early, which, like, whatever, but it was just rude, you know? I mean, it, the sooner you get me done, the sooner you could go get your cigarette. But she took her cigarette break for, like, a half-hour. It was a really long time. I don't know if she got stopped or what happened, but... um it was very rude. And also, what else has been pissing me off lately? Um, I went to the movies with this boy, like, two weeks ago or something. And we went to go see Sinister. Uh, so it was probably longer than two weeks ago because time seems to fly anymore. Um, but it was around when it first came out, kind of probably a few weeks after it came out. I don't remember. But, um... We went to the movies, and he was, like, talking the whole time and talking really loud. Talking throughout the previews and talking throughout the whole movie. <clears throat> Sorry, I have, like, a bit of a sore throat, which is why I keep clearing my throat. I don't know if I'm get, starting to get sick or something, but just bear with me. And so, yeah, he was talking throughout all the whole movie, and I think it's really rude, especially at the movie theater, where you pay money. I mean, it was, like... $8 or something, I didn't pay for him, thank goodness, and he didn't pay for me, we just paid our separate ways, and so, um, but yeah, he just was talking throughout the whole movie, and it was very annoying, and he was talking loud, so I felt like everybody was watching us, and I don't really like to draw attention to myself in public, I'm like kind of just quiet and reserved and stuff, so it was like very weird to me, <clears throat> and then another thing about this boy was, um, he works at a Best Buy, which is close to my house, about 10 minutes, I think. It's really not that far. And um, he lives on campus, which is about a half hour away from here, and it's on my way to work. So it was easy for me to, like, see him on campus. And um, one day he called me and he said, I'm going to go to work. And then afterwards, this was the same day that we went to the movies, he said um, we could go to dinner and go to a movies. I said, that sounds great. So I was um, just getting home from the supermarket and having some, like, quick dinner before we would go out, like, four hours later. So then I would be hungry, but I wouldn't have to eat that much. And so um, he texts me and he says, well, I am feeling very sick, which I knew he was feeling sick because um, 
he said all day he would had been feeling sick. So I saw, okay, well, you're feeling sick, okay. So now that he's at work, <clears throat> something happens, or I don't know. But he says, oh, you have to come get me. You have to come take me to the hospital. So me, of course, being the nice person that I am, went to pick his sorry ass up at the Best Buy that he works at. And take him to the um, emergency room because that's where he said to take him. I said, well, I was already planning out to hang out with you anyway, so I might as well just do this and whatever. So we get to the hospital and all it turns out to be is like a headache. It was just this big dramatic thing. He looked like he was going to pass out. And then the doctor said, no, it's nothing but a, but a headache. I mean, when I got into the car with him, he said, well, it feels like, you know, I'm going to... Um, it feels like I'm going to pass out and I might be having like a heart attack, a stroke or whatever it was. But whenever the do whenever he asked the doctor, he said, well, I just have a little bit of headache in my temporal whatever because he's like a nursing major. So he knows all that crazy ass terms. And he said, well, it's just a little bit of a headache. And then the doctor said, well, then that's just a fucking headache. We could get you some Tylenol. You got to get this prescription filled and then get out. But... It was just so, so over the top. I mean, if you were feeling uncomfortable, if you weren't feeling like you just called off from work or, you know, I mean, they sent him home from work so he could go to the hospital. I would just take you home and whatever. But after that, so that was our, that was strike number one. And strike number two was the loudness in the movie theater. And then some other stuff happened. So I don't talk to that boy anymore, but that's been kind of uh, pissing me off lately. And, um, yeah, just like weird, you know? So, I don't know. Um, but, ugh, I can't believe that I'm coming down with this sickness. Terrible. But, um, to address the other members on this channel Tuesday and Wednesday, I actually, hold on just a second, <clears throat> I actually love your new glasses. So I'm gonna wear these glasses, right? No. But I love your I love your new glasses um, that you showed us on Friday, and then I also like um, I loved the pictures that you showed us. It's really nice to get to know you guys a little bit more, um, like that uh, through pictures and stuff. It makes me feel like I get to know you a little bit more um, about you and stuff. So it was really nice to see all your pictures. Um, and Monday, I agree with you when you say about the beauty gurus. <laughs> Um, and stuff, always trying to, you know, make things perfect. Like, I've noticed that watching several different ones. And, um, honestly, a lot of people, I think, identify a bit more if you do make mistakes and you do acknowledge your mistakes. So if you just be yourself and just laugh at yourself, you know, if you make your mistakes, you will get, um, a little bit of a bigger audience because people can identify with you a little bit more than you always trying to be professional. This isn't TV. YouTube isn't like the TV where everything has to be, you know, perfect. It's just YouTube and it's just you and the camera. And most of the people on here, um, you know, they have an idea, they make everything up, the, and everything that they do is them. Um, they have the idea of the video, they edit the video, they put the video on the internet, and it's nobody else. So, if they can identify with you, it makes you a little bit, seem a little bit more real. So I definitely agree with you on that. But, I'm, I apologize again for the quality of this video, I apologize for being sick, I apologize for, you know, not this editing and, uh, this week is just, I wanted to make sure that I got a video in on time, so I just, um, quickly filmed this on my webcam for you guys. But next week, we'll definitely, I'll, um, be back in my normal setup and I'll talk with the other members, we'll figure out our next week's topic, I'm sure. And, um, yeah. Oh, and Diana, I forgot, um, before I go, that is why I did not, um, get around to coming to Canada, because I wanted to, um... I wanted to cancel my fingerprints appointment. My fingerprints appointment was on the Friday that we were supposed to come or the Friday that we were supposed to be there because I think I told you we were going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't remember. But anyway, um, the fingerprints appointment fell on like that exact little weekend that we were supposed to come. And when I called to schedule with them, <coughs> excuse me, the, uh, reschedule my fingerprints appointment, they said, oh, well... You know, you can't do that. You know, they were very rude to me on the phone, which is another thing that pissed me off. They were very, they're not nice when it comes to court. They were like, okay, well, no, you can't do that. We're really sorry, but if you come to court without your fingerprints, um, you're going to have to be taken down by the constable at your cost, and, you know, all things are going to be shitty for you. So, really, I was like, 
I mean, I can't go to Canada because now I have to get my fingerprints and they wouldn't let me reschedule, so that's why. But we are in the works. Me, oh, my light just turned out. Oh, actually, you know what? I think my all my power turned out. Oh, no, it didn't because my iPod is over there. I don't know what just happened. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's why I didn't make it to Canada. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but we're in the works of figuring out how to... Um, to get back there. I think we're going to come either next month or whenever, but I'll definitely let you know whenever I'm in town. So I apologize for that because I was looking forward to our little date with our chicken nuggets and our Starbucks, but um, we didn't get around to it because of this stupid court. So it's another thing that's pissing me off is I couldn't come visit you. But um, yeah, hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.